Yeah, so I want to do a really, really quick injury update because I've been seeing on the Liverpool Instagram Instagram page and other reliable sources about um, certain players coming back as soon as possible for the Champions League game against Real. Um, all right, let's go down the list. So at the start of this week, we were we were the bearer of bad news when we heard Ibrahima Kanate would be out for three weeks and he got his hamstring injury during the defeat, defeat to Brighton on Sunday. And so he will not be playing in the game against Wolves. Um, the game against Everton, Newcastle, but and could also be in doubt for the visit of Real Madrid on February twenty first. So, it's gonna be tough. Like, with without him, a key factor in our defense, it's gonna be really hard. And for now, I think the defense that will take the that will take the reins for now would be either Joe Matip or Joe Gomez. And I'll I'll honestly be fine with that. Or even Nat Phillips, give him a round out even because he has. Shown that he can be a really good replacement for Virgil Van, Virgil Van Dijk and Ibrahim Kanate in these times. But yeah, and if you didn't see the Instagram page of the Liverpool the Liverpool Instagram page, we were seeing we were told reports of Virgil Van Dijk and Roberto Firmino back in training, running around. That is also good news, but Van Dijk I think will just be in time for the Madrid game, hopefully. But yeah. And let's hope we can get our star, the star center back back into that defense for the Madrid game, because we're gonna need all the help we've got to get through to the, to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Really, uh, Firmino, I think he was out. Yeah, he was out with a muscle injury even before we were back to normal football, and he should be back by as soon as possible this month as well. Yeah, and we also got a really, really good update on Diogo Jota, apparently, who was already running back in training as well. And we could potentially be seeing him for one of the legs against Real Madrid because I think he would just be in time for that game. But yeah, Diogo Jota, I'm just pulling out the tweet on Twitter, apparently. Where was it? If Liverpool, but oh, okay. Wait, let me find it on Anfield Edition on Twitter right now. Um, where is it? 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 Yep. Uh, from the press conference today that Klopp did before for the game against Wolves, Klopp has confirmed that Diogo Jota will be back in full team training next week. Good news as well because he. When we played Man City, he really was a key factor in that win. He really was. And I was sad to see him go out and when the news broke that he would be out until after the World, after a long time of the World Cup. It was hard, but now he's back in training. That's good to hear. And also, just a few hours ago, Klopp has said Luis Diaz is back running, but it's still a few weeks away. And potentially could be playing... The second leg against Real Madrid on the on the fifteenth of March, a month a month time from now, so that is also good news to hear. Diaz, another really another key factor in our defense, and he honestly, we get him against the second leg against Real Madrid. We would have one of the strongest attacks yet, of this Liverpool side, and we need, as I said before, we're gonna need all the help we've got. To knock Real Madrid out. It's no easy feat. But we've got to do it. We've got to get back into the Champions League squad for next season. But yeah. Also. The Champions League squad knockouts. Arthur and Calvin Ramsey are set to be admitted from Liverpool squad. For the Champions League knockouts. So. Honestly. I'm not sure how that will help. That is honestly. I can't believe that he's left out. But Calvin Ramsey, I understand that he's left him out. But to leave out Arthur, someone like that, the lone panic lone midfield fielder that we had, what was the point then? What was the point of loaning him in if we weren't going to sign anyone? Like, signings need to happen and they need to happen in the summer as soon as possible. Jude Bellingham, your Sofian Amrabat, Manu Kone, these midfielders that we need as, as soon as possible. Midfield reinforcements, defensive reinforcements need to come in the summer. 
and yeah and also another something from the Anfield edition twitter are saying Galatasaray are interested in signing Naby Keita on a free transfer in the summer and have reached out to the midfielder's representatives to see if the midfielder would be keen on a switch to Turkey. I honestly would take this because Naby Keita is exceptional as a footballer Footballer he is. He is not he, fitness-wise. He can stay fit as well as other people can. I think... Persuade if he makes that move to Galatasaray, this would definitely persuade Klopp to go and look out for a new midfielder to invest into, and obviously, he will be going big. Jurgen Klopp will go big this summer for sure, and he will definitely be keeping his eyes on Jude Bellingham and Sofian Amrabat, which I think should be the two January signings for the midfield, and possibly potentially one centre back. And but those the signings need to be made. Either if FSG start to spend, or if they just go and we get new owners. Let's hope for the best.